first of all, go to the extend primitives and make it the chamfer box with equal length and equal width. But height has to be a little low. Make it to the center and we need to in, insert some more segments, some more details like this. And then right now, I guess uh, this is pretty much better. Convert to editable poly and play with some polygons. Yes, delete these ones and make it shell. After doing shell, just play with some width and convert to poly again and just take the polygons. So like these polygons just to create some depth here with extrude modifier. I'm sorry, extrude option. That's pretty much better. Now we need to make it duplicate with sh holding shift key and rotate just to set this like this. So here now we have created the base of our Z flip mobile Samsung Z flip. Now just take the plane and draw the screen with the help of plane tool like this. I have drawn a screen. Uh, but uh, need to adjust this and uh, something like this. That's pretty much better. I'm just going to increase the segments of the screen because I will have to make it fold or flip. So that's why I have give, given the details in the screen. So now I'm just going to adjust this and after this Go to the spline, take rectangle and try to create the camera on the back side of your mobile phone. Convert to it over spline, select the vertex, select the vertex and make it fillet like this. Perfect. Now adjust this. Now I'm going to take the duplicates, one duplicate and two duplicates. One will be my border, second will be my camera cover and third will be the base. So this is my border, apply extrude modifier, this is my backside base and now I'm just going to draw the camera lens with the help of cylinder. Perfect. So I need to make it some more smooth like this, perfectly done and make it duplicate with the help of holding shift key like this. And one more duplicate to create some flashlight. That's perfect. Now I, I have my third duplicate. Apply the extrude modifier. And just go to the object property and make it visibility 0.5. So it will be a little transparent more 0.3. Yeah. So just covered my camera with the glass. That's perfect. I have a Samsung in my illustrator, so I just need to save this file. Samsung logo with the help of Illustrator 8 version. Now go back to the 3ds Max. Import my Samsung file like this. Here's my Samsung logo. I need to scale it to make it bigger in size and apply. I'm sorry, I need to rotate this one on the back side of the mobile. That's pretty much better. And uh, now I need to apply the modifier, which is called the extrude. That's good. And just place in the back side of the screen. So according to the modeling we have done our Z Clip mobile, now it's time to go forward more. So, Go to the VRAS, render settings, apply VRA. And now go to the material editor, take VRA material and apply, assign a material on the screen. Go to the diffuse and bitmap. After that, just select the texture and apply. But uh, you need to apply the UW, UW map. That's perfect. Now we have seen our texture on this screen. So our uh, reflective 
screen. Now let's work on the back side of the cover. We just uh, apply a chrome. That's a perfect reflective reflection and make a fresno. So it will become the reflective way. Uh, by the way, 0 0.95 glossiness. And now it is time to apply the material of actually a Z flip backside cover, which is a little bit purple gradient. So I'm just going to select the faces or polygons of the object. And in the end, I will have to apply my real texture. This one, apply and assign this one. That's perfectly, I have this. So place the UVW map and flip this. That's a perfect. Again, the same process in the back and behind our backside cover of the Z flip. Select all the selective polygons. and just apply here. Apply Chrome on Samsung logo. So now I have textured the my mobile, but unfortunately we don't think about the camera. Before that, I'm just going to draw my buttons, volume buttons or power button. So, Convert to spline and fillet the vertex to create some smoothness or roundness. Give the extrude modifier to give the depth and just place it, properly place this on the side of the mobile. Now duplicate, it's a power, power button. Now it's perfectly done. Select both of them and apply Chrome material on it. And now I have one thing is left, which is camera. So apply a yellow color on the flesh LED light. A little bit yellow, a little bit. That's perfect. Assign the same color material, purple material on the border of the camera. And now just need to hide my glass. Apply a black color behind of this, something like this. And now just keep some reflection as well and make it lens texture. Just call the lens and assign on the lens. After that, go to the UW map and adjust with the length and width. That's perfect. Give some reflection as well. And now I just need to assign here. That's perfect, that's perfect. Just to make a glass material, black color, and make it refraction white and reflective as well. So that's perfect, perfect. Make a duplicate because uh, I have one thing I need to show the mobile is properly and second one will have to be folding shape or flip shape like a laptop uh, as you know that. So I'm just going to adjust this one. That's perfect. So now I need to take band modifier on the screen and you can see the band modifier will be work like this. So I need to go to the gizmo and rotate my banding gizmo. Now I will take, that's perfect. So what will I have to do? I have to apply the limit and just play with the depth of limit. So I will have to return my gizmo. Now this perfect, that's perfect. Now I will rotate my back cover and place it here. So one more thing I need to make or I need to adjust this. And the thing is box. So 
so just have to fold or have to flip so you cannot see the screen that's why i have to just fold this like this perfect okay so i have to make it some retouching inside of it let's create a chamfer box behind of the mobile just to create the joint of these two screens or two back cover just to create the joints apply chrome material and take the samsung duplicate yeah duplicate samsung and adjust with the rotation and after rotation you will have to place it here oops a little bit in size little bit little bit all right that's perfect now one more thing you will have to adjust something like this that's perfect now go to the render setup and just apply expert mode settings now i have actually set this alignment of the cell phones i'm gonna Play with some dome light so you can see the settings of dome light is to multiplier 2.0 you can find out and now the v-ray light and v-ray light multiplier have to be 10 percent or you can say call 10 or maybe i'm going to go to the material editor or render settings so let's see the render settings i have activated v-ray before now i'm going to go to the V-ray and they just find out the adaptive subdivisions, V-ray length cost for filter, and they as well switch on the HDR, which is the most important HDR used to for use for the environmental reflection. Go to the GI and place this to the light cache. First one is radius map and then light cache. And now after that, uh, I just need to find out my dynamic limits which is approximately 4000 so now i'm going to take the render and there we go so guys thank you so much for watching this tutorial and if you like this please subscribe high production